welcome back. So we're going to add a little bit of uh, flair to your sweater in this episode, tutorial episode. <laughs> and we're going to make it so that your sweater has a little more flair, a little more pizzazz, whatever you really want to call it. So we're going to go ahead and go back to this, which is the pre-simulated sweater. Doesn't really matter if it's simulated or not at this point, but it makes it easier for me. So going over to the object browser, we're going to go right back to how we added in this pattern and go under the texture button and select this button right here to select a new texture. I suggest using tiled or uh, seamless patterns, but whatever you really want, you can probably work with. So for this, you'll see that it's still actually the opacity is pretty low. We're going to move that right back up. And for now, this looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to notice that if I, if I go back to zoom extends all, it's a little darker on this side. This is something normal that happens. And we're just going to click on this, right click and select flip normal. And this should make it so that the outside of the fabric is there instead of the inside darker part. Do that for the same on each little part right here. And you should go ahead and have a nice little textured sweater. So going back to zoom extends all, if we go to simulate at this point, we have something that resembles a sweater and you can tug and you can roll the arms up as you can do in Sansar. So for now, this is pretty much what will look rather good when making your Sansar shirt. Um, of course, you can go ahead and add fancy things like collars. You can add little bits to the ends. You can even go ahead and like move around the pattern if you want to so it connects better. All you're going to do for that is really select uh, what we used before to move it around and you can move around the pattern. So if you wanted to add something like a gingerbread man to the front of your shirt, you could go ahead and have it on top of this pattern and move it around as you wish. So let me know if you guys have any additional questions. I am going to make a tutorial on how to export and upload this into Sansar next.